Hello, this is Reza Rad from Radacad. In this video, I'm going to talk about the concept of um, status log table and how you can change it to a, a from to table that would work much better in Power BI modeling and any other modeling uh, technologies uh, and tools that you use. Uh, why it is helpful, let's learn about it. Uh, this video is looking at this aspect as the uh, aspect of modeling more rather than how to do it. So in this video, I'm talking about why uh, one structure is better than another structure. It is quite common that when you work in a data analysis solution, you come across a table like this. This is what uh, I call as a status log table uh, because what it does, it has the uh, log of all status changes. For example, you normally have a date, which is the date of a status change, an item, in this case it's an employee, it might be product, it might be anything. Um, um, because it is employee, it has some description around it, such as role of the employee and the status itself. Uh, so what this table tells me, for example, is that if I look at mm, Layla's record, for example, it tells me that Layla has been hired as a consultant at 1st of April 2018. This is New Zealand date format. Um, and then left the company at 5th of July 2020. Then a few records uh, later, hired again, this time as a senior consultant on 1st of February 2021. A status log table has record for every one of these status changes. That is why normally it is called a status log table. And you normally find it in many databases, uh, many transactional databases and operational systems. They have a log table like this that tracks the changes. Now this is quite informative table. However, it is hard to populate some kind of information. It's not really efficient. As an example, let's say you want to populate uh, the latest status, for example, for a given date, consider November 2020. In November 2020, I want to find out what is Layla's uh, latest role. Right. So first I have to scan this table and find all records before that given date, which is November 2020. Uh, that will, in this case, produce these two records for me. It might be much more than that. This is just a sample table. Then from those, I go and find the latest record, which would be this one. And that would give me the latest status of that employee. In this case, left. His latest role was consultant, but left at 5th of July 2020. I have a um, I have a blog article and video explaining some DAX calculations and expressions about that that you can use in Power BI to fetch those information as well. But the, but this process requires uh, multiple scan of a table. If I want to add a duration, for example, I want to see uh, for how long Layla has been consultant before she leave. Uh, that would also require another scanning of a table, a double scanning of a table, because once I found that latest record, I have to scan the table again and find the record right before that, which is again the latest record right before that, right? The status before. Each of these requires a scan of a table, sorting it, finding the latest record and getting that information. It is possible. I'm not saying it is not possible. It is possible. It's not the best efficient way of doing it. Uh, there are some other problems with this current uh, structure of a table as well. But what I would recommend is a structure like this. I call it from to table. You might come with much better naming for that. And I appreciate that I might use that name afterward. Um, this table is very similar to the previous table. The only difference is that I have two date columns here. One is the from date, another is the to date. Uh, I still have the status changes, the item, everything like that. So here it tells me that, for example, Layla hired as a consultant 1st of April 2018 until 5th of July 2020. So just looking at one record gives me more information than what I had in the previous structure. Of course, I still have other records as well. And if there is um, there is a period that there is uh, that that status is the most up to date status, I have the two date as null. 
Um, now, in some practices, some people use uh, a very far uh, future date as a two date, such as um, 31st of December of 9999. That would work conceptually, but uh, in some tools such as Power BI, if you do that and if you use the uh, default date table, that would create a huge date table, which I wouldn't recommend. I have, again, another article about that. The link is in down in the description below. So I wouldn't suggest doing that in Power BI. I would suggest keeping that as null. Um, and then you can write some kind of like expression that analyze that table. I have written a blog article with the video accompanying that about subscription pattern, which is basically the same thing. It tells us how to analyze this data and get, for example, the number of uh, active employees right now and things like that. Again, check that in the link down in the description below. Uh, scanning this table is much easier. If I have a given date and I want to see uh, what is the latest status of the employee or role of employee in that given date? I just want to scan this table and find uh, any from and to date in a record that that given date falls into that. So it's more like a word class, very simple. If I want to do um, the duration calculation, this can be even done pre-calculated. It can be done as a simple calculation as just to date minus from date and getting the days out of it, which can be done in Power Query. It can be done in DAX with a calculated column. Um, very simple, no need for scanning the entire table. You just have to look at one single record to do that. So everything is achievable, much more efficient, much more uh, faster. This structure would perform much better. Of course, this structure still requires further analysis, which I pointed that out to you that you can check out the subscription pattern explanation I mentioned. But I would definitely suggest to change that status table into status log table into this table. I would highly recommend that uh, whenever it is possible. Now, this um, video was about uh, why you need to make that change and why this table structure is better than the other table structure. I don't explain how to do that. That how will come as another video later, which I'll explain how you can use Power Query to change the status log table into a from to table very simply. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe into our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos on Power BI. Thank you. Thank you.